Well, this video is going to be controversial. Let's discuss Snow White and the seven dwarf. Sorry, the six multi gendered, multi racial, magical creatures and a dwarf. Has Disney gone too woke? By now, we've all seen the pictures of what the potential live action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs could look like, and it's starkly different from the original classic that they're meant to be retelling. If it was up to me, I'd just make new films, Disney, because by now, I think these live action remakes are just becoming annoying. Whether you think them going woke is good or bad, I think the general consensus is let's just end it all together. Disney is in a bit of a crisis. Their films have been going woke, and and their box offices have been plummeting. Now, I really don't think them going woke has actually hugely affected their revenue. It's been a lot of other factors. The fact Disney now doesn't rent their films to streaming services like Netflix or Amazon since they have Disney Plus, the fact they're still recovering from the pandemic, and just other world issues that have affected how Western media is dispersed, especially with stuff like war. Those are the main issues, and sure, some of the woke stuff will have prompted certain people not to want to see the film, but even the fact that there is wokeness has sparked conversations, in part promoting those films. But certain wokeness has also prevented certain films from being shown in certain countries. Strange World wasn't allowed to premiere in certain popular countries, but to be fair, that film was going to flop regardless, just because they didn't promote it whatsoever. I've never really had an issue with this so-called Disney woke train. That is, until Snow White, where these woke decisions are actually doing the opposite of being inclusive. Let's start with Snow White herself, who is not being played by a light-skinned white actress with black hair, but instead by the mixed-race actress Rachel Zeglar. Now, this is nothing against Zeglar as an actress, I'm sure she will portray the character very well. My issue is Disney's choice to change the race of the character when it is very important to the character's creation in the first place. There are many Disney characters where race is not an important part of the character's identity. Ariel is a perfect example. I did not care one bit that they changed her race from white to black for the live action remake because race is not important to the character's identity. Ariel is a literal sea creature. Her race does not play an important role at all in the film. In fact, it doesn't play a role whatsoever. So therefore, casting a black actress to me was absolutely fine. You haven't changed the fundamentals of the character by doing so. But there are a lot of characters where race and ethnicity is very important to their identity. Jasmine and Aladdin, Arabian backgrounds, is very important to the character's identity, and so for the live action remake, they chose actors with that ethnicity. For Mulan, the country China is like the entire reason the plot is happening in the first place, and so an Asian ethnicity was chosen for the live action remake. And we know that when they come to create live action remakes of their recent films, because let's be honest, they will, those that aren't white, Disney would never dare to change their race. In Encanto, Colombia plays a huge role as part of Mirabelle's identity, and so you would think that when they eventually do an Encanto live action remake, let's hope not soon though, they would get a Colombian actor to play Mirabelle and the rest of her family. The live action Moana has been announced and they will get an actor with the same ethnicity. So my question is, why aren't they doing this with Snow White? Because if I said let's change Tiana's race from black to white for a live action Princess and the Frog movie, there would be massive backlash and Disney would never do this and for good reasons they would never do this. So why do it with Snow White? Because surely it's the same thing. Because Snow White, the whole point of why the character even has the name Snow White is because of how she looks. In the Brothers Grimm original fairy tale, they introduced the story with She pricked her finger, and there fell from it three drops of blood on the snow. And when she saw how bright and red it looked, she said to herself, Oh, that I had a child as white as snow, as red as blood, and as black as the wood of the embroidery frame. Not very long after she had a daughter, with a skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony, and she she was named Snow White. 
In this case, Snow White is meant to have skin as white as snow. It's extremely important to the character. It's the reason why the character has that name in the first place. So it's completely different to anything that we were dealing with when the Little Mermaid changed race. So does this mean that Disney has gone too far? Have they gone too woke? But I think the actual main issue with this film is their replacement of the dwarves. The dwarves themselves were thought to have been inspired by true events of a series of copper mines where the majority of workers were children. Due to malnutrition and poor working conditions, the children were allegedly called poor dwarves. And the dwarves play a massive part in the original film. I mean, it's literally called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which for me personally, I think are some of the most beloved characters in all of Disney. Disney decided to replace the dwarves with actors who don't have dwarfism and also changed the genders and race with some of them as well for some reason. And according to Disney, apparently this was to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters and I've been consulting with members of the dwarfism community. Which is interesting because now instead of there being seven dwarfs, which could have been played by seven dwarf actors, there is now only one. In what world would the dwarfism community want you to just wipe out their part in the film altogether? It's hard enough to be an actor regardless. It's even harder to be an actor with dwarfism as there just isn't as many roles. But then to take arguably the most famous dwarf characters in history and to cast them in a live action version to fully grown actors is absurd to me. Like, it's not even woke, I don't even know what it is. How is this helping the dwarfism community? How is this helping the dwarf actors where six actors have now lost the opportunity to be in a major blockbuster by Disney? And not even just six actors, all of their stunt doubles as well, it could have been many who have now lost that amazing opportunity. Personally, I don't see how the original film evokes bad things towards dwarfs, but I do not know. So if it does and it did need it to be changed for modern times, I can appreciate them changing it. But this is not the way to change that, like whatsoever. There are so many other ways they could have done this while still having the seven dwarfs. I don't understand why they decided to change it completely to now magical creatures and just get rid of the whole dwarf identity altogether. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this? Do you reckon that Disney has gone too woke? And do you reckon that Snow White has maybe taken it even too far with the casting of Snow White and the casting of now these magical creatures because apparently we can't call them dwarfs anymore? Or do you reckon that it hasn't gone too woke and that actually this whole video is wrong? I really want to see a whole range of comments down there. So let me know all your thoughts and as always we've been here on gate of theories thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later I